Hey guys, so I'm with John Evans, Fishing Adventures. I'm Evan Beal as usual. Today, well, we're about to walk into a store, so I'll have to explain what we're doing in just a little bit. So hold on a second. So yeah, I didn't get a chance to tell you guys what we're doing today. So we're just gonna relax today. We're gonna do some basic carp fishing at a place that, you know, we haven't been to in a long time because you know, we just came back to Indiana. But since it's fall, as you can see, um, carp are feeding up for winter, which means that this could be a good time to catch a new PB. And I know there's a PB in this lake, um, but first, of course, we need a few supplies. So we're going to the fishing section. Actually, my mom is coming with us today, so she's in the bathroom, but we're just gonna go get some supplies. Ah, the wonderful fishing section. Oh. Well, I'm gonna turn the camera off because we need to do our shopping, so yeah. Well guys, we're here, let's get started. So, basically goal for today, catch some carp, and I'm setting up a rod for bullheads, because I've seen people catch bullheads out of here, so I just want to see if I can, if I can find one. On there? He's on. I think. But it's a bull. What is that? Is that a carp? Oh my gosh. They've become even smaller. <laughs> they are even more dinkier than before. Look at the little guy. Wow. <laughs> Feisty little booger. Yeah. Little guys. These, these remind me of like crucians that you would see in like a... Yeah, I'll let you get them off. Okay. A little feisty little booger. Okay. So, I've got a worm on this rig. We're gonna cast that out and see if we can catch a bullhead of some sort. Or whatever's down there. Could catch a carp, I guess. But I wouldn't say carp are the best known to eat worms, so. Well, guys, just changed the batteries. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Um, only caught one carp so far. And it was about. I could literally show it with my one hand. But we had someone pull up in their car and tell us that there are some catfish and bigger bass carp over there. Got one. Ah. Hey, Dad, look. Eaker, beaker. Oh, nice what is it? A carp? Yes, it's a carp. Oh, shoot. Huh? What? Yeah, he just broke my hook. Okay, guys, we got ourselves a nice little largemouth here on the flick shake again. <laughs> Where'd you throw it? Underneath yeah. here? Yeah. Right. Well, we noticed there's a school of bluegill okay, under there. Okay, toss him so in. Toss him in there. Figure yeah. there's got to be largemouth under there. Woo! And there was. If there's nice. largemouth in there, this flick shake will get him. Yeah, right here is really good. I caught a carp right there. There's bluegills under there. Almost actually caught a bluegill. It came off right at the bank. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that gave me a heart attack. 
Oh my gosh, that scared me to death. to him again. Let's see if we can get this guy to bite. Here's it. Man, that really shows. Fish the bank. Hey! That thing absolutely destroyed it. Like a snakehead going for it. Shake me. Can't beat it. Dude! You will never believe what just happened. Okay, I got this on camera too. Okay, I was fishing right here. By the way, I asked those guys and they said they had caught a few small ones. But I was fit like, you know, I always remember that, you know, you're supposed to fish the bank before continuing, you know, yes. before you step on it. Was working the flick shake right along the bank, like probably like that close to the bank. So from like yeah. there to yeah, there, yeah. and like I felt some like some bumping slash tugging, which is like logs, I guess. And I guess I brought the bait, I kind of flopped it out of the water. And this bass, I don't know, it was maybe about a pound or less. It was, like, and it just like slashes at it on the surface, like. Yeah. No, I tried like several more casts, but I think I spooked him. But, but he was just like, they just slashed at it on the surface. Note to self, when casting along the bank, a windy edge, note to self, cast a little farther out. Makes sense. Let's see, where did I start? Right here right here okay so a little bit beyond there we go perfecto right, right off right off the bank right off the bank yeah let's go so those are bumps from bass I guess those that whole time it's a little guy but hey when you're fishing a spot that doesn't have big fish Flick shake, man, for the win. Okay, he's back in the water, so. Woo, boy! Work in the bank, son! Let's get back out there.